What's up, everybody? We are back. John Delarose here, Delarose.com. That's D-E-L-A-R-R-O-Z.com. Uh, this is Valerian the Complete Collection, Volume 3. Now, each one of these beautiful hardcovers has three complete Valerian stories in it. Uh, you don't really need to read one before the others. Uh, they kind of are all standalone for the most part. But I'm reading these in order. Uh, there's seven complete collections, and they're from Cinebook. They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, nice, nice, uh, nice hardcovers. Uh, big art. He has some good interviews and things like that at the beginning of these books. And it's good stuff all the way around. Um, my name is John Delarose. I am a number one best-selling comic creator. And uh, I have books on Amazon, which you can check out. If you like my my uh, my talk on comics and all that, I have sci-fi novels, I have comics, I have all that stuff. I hope you'll support the channel and grab that in the link in the description below. Here's the three stories outlined. The Ambassador of Shadows from 75, On False Earths from 77, and Heroes of the Equinox from 78. These are some of my favorite, favorite books of all time. And I think this might be my favorite volume of Valerian yet. Uh, the gentlemen here just keep getting better at telling their tales. And look at this beautiful, beautiful artwork. Oh my gosh, it's just absolutely stunning to look at these sci-fi creations. This is like some like world city. It's called Point Central. And uh, there's an ambassador of Earth who really is going to try to take over this whole deal because the whole galaxy revolves around this Point Central. And the ambassador ends up getting kidnapped... Uh, along with Valerian, and Loreline, uh, the gal here, this redhead, uh, has to go through a series of trials in order to uh, find them and bring them back again. So she's got this weird creature which produces money, and it's like this, like little, like, like uh, it like burps up money basically, and uh, <laughs> it's energy, and energy's uh, energy's key for everybody. So all these aliens will help her. They're all mercenary types basically on this point central. And she ends up in these weird situations with weird different cultures throughout the entire thing until she finally finds them again. And then Earth, uh, because of their, uh, their uh, a, lot, a lot of this ended up in the movie, actually, I think, from, from this in particular. You see a lot of the cultures from this movie, uh, even though the movie didn't really follow the plot lines here. But um, the Earth... Uh, ends up getting kicked off the station at the end of this uh, because they were uh, machinating to uh, try to take things over. And uh, very cute storyline, very neat. Um, now this one's called On False Earths, and you get a weird, this one's a weird start and a weird storyline. I like the first one a little better. Uh, this had a cool little conclusion. But uh, you see all these different scenarios from different spots on Earth in like the late 1900s, early 20th century. And uh, Valerian's in there. And he's trying to rush through to get to this point, and you don't know what's happening. But eventually you get back to this starship, and Loreline and this other lady are uh, are sort of coordinating it. They're, they're bringing down Valerian clones over and over uh, to try to get through these scenarios, and he keeps dying in all of them. Eventually they get through to it, and it turns out there's this alien lady who's like created this whole cloning chamber and all that stuff, uh, where... Uh, she's just recreating these past periods in history just because she enjoys it as a as an alien, and uh, and the lady who was helping from from Earth also uh, ends up really enjoying that too. So Loreline grabs the real Valerian, hauls him out of there, and uh, and leaves the lady with that uh, other strange person. It's a very bizarre storyline, and they end up going back in time uh, to Earth just to have a nice dinner. <laughs> it's it really cute, uh, enjoyable stuff. And then this gets to Heroes of the Equinox, another wonderful storyline. Just look at the art. I just like, this is perfection in comics, everybody. Uh, I really uh, am inspired by this, and uh, it makes me long for more comics like this. I don't know why there's not more sci-fi comics like this one. It's just so beautiful to look at. Oh my gosh. This one, uh, Valerian is chosen as an Earth representative uh, for this like competition on this like strange planet. And they're gonna they're they're going to like do a mind body and soul competition. Look at the beautiful architecture and all the line work that's done with this. Absolutely amazing stuff right here. Art's so phenomenal. And the story's it, the story matches it. It's perfect. He goes up against these aliens, uh, and uh, while Loreline kind of waits around, and uh, all these aliens have cool special powers and like. Like, uh, you get these, like, montages of them working through stuff. Except for Valerian, who uh, who just barely manages to survive through this. And it turns out that there's this alien lady, uh, and she wants to repopulate her planet. So she chooses uh, a uh, champion every time 
uh, and <laughs> she chooses Valerian uh, to to build her new children, and they have uh, a, a million little uh, Valerian children together. And uh, Lorelai <laughs> comes back and rescues him, but Valerian's actually, because uh, of all the energy consumed in, in uh, procreating there, ends up a tiny uh, midget dude at the end of this, and, uh, and Lorelai has to uh, bring him back. And... Uh, they don't show how he comes back to normal at the end of this. Loreline's obviously very pissed because, uh, you know, he just he just mated with some alien person. Uh, and then it's, but they just kind of leave. <laughs> really fun storyline. Classic, classic science fiction stuff. This is really the best of comics. I, I highly recommend this series. I would pick this up beyond almost anything else. This is a 10 out of 10 uh, Valerian Complete Collection Volume 3. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.